began Caja Studios in uh, the ideas started forming when I met Frank in college in the States and uh, we're both working artists, Frank's a photographer and I do a lot of painting and drawing and we're both really interested in education. So I come from here, this is my home place, my father's family have lived here for over 250 years. Frank is from Philadelphia and when we both decided to move back here from the States, we kind of started hatching ideas of how to maybe take the farm space and uh, reuse it for our artistic purposes. Cow House is named after what it used to be. It used to be a functioning cow house. And um, you know, we kind of, we wanted to create a studio space that would support young artists, young professional artists who are finished college, but also young budding artists like the students that we have here now, and find a way to financially kind of make those things all work together. What we do here at Cow Studios is we're interested in contemporary visual art. So we teach classes and then we host artists. So we teach drawing, painting and photography to mostly teenage students who are interested in developing a portfolio for college. And that's what's running right now. We have students coming over for three weeks and they stay and live and work here and then we travel with them a little bit too. And then during the autumn we host an artist in residence program for professional working artists who are mostly finished college and interested in pursuing a career in the arts. So after renovating then, you know, we started in 2008 um, and grew over the last five years. Our student numbers have grown each year. And then over that time realizing that we need to add things to the studio to kind of uh, make their experience better but also to make the space more um, usable during the winter months, for example heating, the underfloor heating in with the help of um, the leader grant. We had two separate application processes. Uh, the first one was for underfloor heating in the studio. So we went to an information session in Enniscorthy and met Helena there. And uh, at that stage I began a conversation with her. Um, and you know, I didn't really know a lot about the process when we started. And so the way I approached it was by asking a lot of questions. Um, I didn't know what was needed. Um, and it turned out that a lot of the things that we had done to start the business were very applicable for the process. So, for example, we already had a business plan, which was really helpful. So I feel like it went really well. And just this past year, because of the heating, we were able to run a course in the winter, uh, which we, I don't think, would have ever dreamed of doing. We also had a second application. Uh, and for that application, we worked with Seamus Doran in New Ross. Last year, we were actually turning students away. And so we felt like there was an opportunity there to grow a little bit. Um, and in order to do that, we needed a little bit more studio space. So what we did was we put an application together uh, to apply for materials uh, to build that mezzanine. And what that did was it gave us four functioning studio spaces that were individual breakout rooms for the students and for our residency artists. Uh, it also gave us more common area for you know, hanging out and downtime. Um, and that was great. That extra uh, income coming in allowed us to hire Edel, Rosie's sister. Uh, so it really has been beneficial. Leaders helped us kind of grow uh, in terms of what we do here. Mm -hmm.